Ever feel like some movies just hit differently? The sound pulls you in. The action feels real, like you're inside the scene. That's no accident. If you're setting up a home theater, or just trying to boost your streaming setup, knowing the difference between Dolby Digital and Dolby Atmos can seriously level up your experience. In this video, I'll break it down in a super simple way so you can choose what's best for you. If this helps you out, go ahead and give it a like. It really helps YouTube show this to more people. And hey, I've got a face reveal coming up in the next few videos, so consider subscribing if you don't want to miss that. Let's get into it. Let's begin with Dolby Digital. This format has been around for years and is still widely used in movies, TV broadcasts, DVDs, and streaming platforms. Dolby Digital delivers surround sound using a 5.1 channel setup that's five speakers and one subwoofer. It relies on channel-based encoding, meaning each sound is assigned to a specific speaker. It's a reliable and consistent format that offers solid surround sound performance and remains a standard for most entry-level home theaters. Now, let's move to Dolby Atmos. Unlike Dolby Digital, Atmos uses object-based audio instead of fixed channels. This means each sound is treated as an individual object that can move freely in a three-dimensional space, even above you. That's right, Atmos adds a vertical audio layer, so when something flies overhead in a movie, you'll actually hear it coming from above. This creates a more realistic and immersive experience. Of course, Atmos needs a more advanced setup to work properly. While Dolby Digital works well with a 5.1 speaker system, Dolby Atmos typically requires at least a 7.1.2 setup. That's seven speakers around you, one subwoofer, and two height or upward firing speakers. If you don't want to wire all those speakers, many soundbars now offer Dolby Atmos simulation using built-in technology, making it more accessible. When when it comes to latency and sync, Dolby Atmos also has an edge. Thanks to HDMI RC support, it can transmit high-quality, low-latency, uncompressed audio. This reduces delays and ensures that sound stays perfectly in sync with the visuals especially in fast-paced scenes or live gaming. It's ideal for both movie lovers and gamers who want precise, immersive sound without frustrating audio lag. But it's not just about sound quality. Atmos systems are also more future-proof, as more content on streaming platforms like Netflix, Disney+, and Apple TV+, adopt Atmos mixing. Having compatible hardware ensures you're getting the full experience. And when it comes to syncing and latency, Atmos generally handles things better too, thanks to HDMI EQ support, which delivers high-quality, low-lag, uncompressed audio. In short, Dolby Digital gives you solid surround sound with minimal fuss, and it's still a great choice for traditional setups. But if you're aiming for that cinematic edge, whether it's for movies, gaming, or just flexing your speaker system, Dolby Atmos is where things really come to life. So which one fits your space and style best? Do you prefer the classic reliability of Dolby Digital, or are you ready to jump into the immersive world of Dolby Atmos? Let us know in the comments below, and if you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more tech tips and audio comparisons.